Hello and welcome back to another hacking video in this reverse shell series that I'm doing. In other videos, we looked at creating a reverse shell using PowerShell and it pops up on the Kali Linux side and we're able to do what we need to do. And then in other videos, we took it further with doing scheduled tasks, uh, running registry keys, etc., to have persistence. What I want to show you today is that we can also use um, Medisploit to get um, the listener to come back. And sometimes I find that it's not as stable as using normal Netcat. Uh, sometimes it times out or it ends the session. And I'm guessing it's just because of the payloads or um, there's some instability. But if you find yourself in an exam on a you know, client side and you can't get the reverse show, you can always use a multi-handler as we're going to do now in in Kali. So you can see this is the standard script. It's the script that I've originally used uh, that I was testing with ChatGPT, obviously made a few modifications. And on the Kali side of things, you can see I've got my um, listener here from my HTTP server to download the NC file. And I've got the standard listener here on port 8080. And then you'll see if I run this, we have a reverse shell popped here and we are basically on our exchange server. So what we're going to do now is we're going to launch uh, Metasploit, so MSF console. And for those that are new to it, you can use the search function once it starts up. And I'm going to just say search multi-handler. and if we scroll up to number seven, we're going to be using exploit multi-handler. So in MSF console, we say use seven. And you see what it does is it's going to give us a generic payload. Now, there aren't many options to set, but we want to change the payload. So the first option we're going to set is the L host. So you can say set L host Ethernet zero and then which is my local IP here. And then I'm going to say set payload windows x64 PowerShell. Just push tab, just waiting for it to autocomplete. And then reverse TCP. And then basically say run. Now what's going to happen is it's going to start up exactly like this here. It's now listening. Uh, before I forget, wrong port. We need to set the L port to 8080 because our script is using port 8080. So now that we've got a listener running, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to start it, uh, the PowerShell script. And as you can see now, within MSF console, Metasploit, uh, however you want to refer to it, you can see that I've got a PowerShell session like I had here. Uh, same thing if I type hostname, I'm in. If I want to do whatever I want to do on the machine, I can do that. So just another way you can get a listener using multi-handler. I've used this in the past, um, <clears throat> especially with pivoting. It works pretty well with pivoting, this multi-handler, while you are running another reverse shell on the same system for something else. So something to use um like i say sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work if this doesn't work for you try this and the other way around just a simple video how to use multi-handler in metasploit uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the next one thank you for watching